Well, you made your official UFC debut back in December. Obviously, you had a very uh, impressive win that evening. Give, give, me, give me a thought. You know, getting that under your belt, getting that moment, what, what did it mean to you? That fight with Ariel Beck was so important to me. You know, I didn't get to showcase what I wanted to, uh, you know, to the fans, to, um, to the UFC audience um, about my abilities uh, on the house. It, I didn't come out victorious like I wanted to with the Roxanne fight. So when I got my hand raised, you know, I got, I got, that, got that finish with Ariel Beck. It was like an exhale. It was like, okay, y'all, this is, this is me. This is what I can do. And we're only getting started. So it was, it was, I was hyped for that one. How tough are those fights? Because, you know, everybody in there is fighting for the same dream, right? You mm -hmm. spend all that time right next to somebody who's trying to get the same thing you are, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got to go in there and you got to shut the door in their face. Like, how difficult is that getting in there and facing that person? So in the finale, you know, when I, when I got the call that I was going to be fighting Ariel, she texted me right away and she was like, hey, buddy, we're fighting each other. I was like, I know this is this is actually funny because Sarge and Deanna fought each other in the house and all four of us were friends. We all lived in the in the same room. So, you know, it was kind of awkward for me and Ariel. But now, you know, tables have turned and we're fighting each other. So, you know, we just both agree we're going to go in there. And, you know, out of respect for each other, give it our best, put on the best performance that we could. And, you know, we, we hit each other up after the show, we still, or after the fight, we still talk after the fight. And we're actually gonna go and watch uh, Eddie and Justin uh, bang it out after the fight, but I don't know what happened. I, I didn't get to hit her, uh, get, get to link up with her, but, you know, it's, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's, it's a job, it's, it's, it's a mission that we got to go in there and accomplish. And, you know, we can, we can shake hands and be friends after, before, you know, but during, you know, all that, all that's turned off. No doubt. What was the reaction back home? You go back home, I mean, mm -hmm. she came up short on the show, like you mm -hmm. said, but then you go in the, in the USC, you get that win. What, what, what was the reaction? Uh, when I went back to Texas, I was greeted with, you know, with love and just, you know, total support, you know, just as I expected. Uh, everybody was super proud of me and, and that's all I wanted to do was represent represent for Texas, you know, now represent for Maryland and, and just the people that believe in me, I want to make them proud. What have you been doing since? I mean, you were, you were working full time. Are, are, are you still balancing that or are you putting that on hold? Give me an idea of what's, what it's been like since then. I had a nice little break, uh, you know, during that camp. And then after the fight, you know, I went right back into teaching. Um, so uh, fortunately, I, when I moved back to Maryland, uh, I've been with a great camp. I joined over with Team Lord Irvin and I got a great set of coaches that have put me through the most rigorous, most technical, I mean, the, the best camp that I've ever been in. So it, it was definitely a blessing, uh, you know, having that opportunity. I'm still teaching and balancing both, you know, training and teaching at the same time. But, you know, it's just, it's a part of the game. So you're teaching in Maryland now? Yes. So how does that work? I mean, so you get up in, in the morning and, and what, you go put in your eight to three and then you go uh, go to practice that or is that how it goes? Yeah, I got, I got a new set of little rugrats. Uh, that I, that I deal with uh, Monday through Friday, but um, you know, I, I developed a love for them just as I did with all my other students. And you know, I, I go in there and fortunately, my school is not too far from my gym, it all worked out. So go in there, put in that work, head straight to the gym, put in those hours. I mean, it's, it's just a you know, confirmation for me that you know, I'm, I'm about that, I, you know, I'm about that grimy life and you know, doing what it takes. The kids there in Maryland, they know what you what you do after school. Yeah, they know. They know that they. I try not to let my students know, but they they go and they Google me and they look me up and you know I'm like, oh, that's that's not me. But yeah, it is. <laughs> but you know they're they're cool about it and and I, I use it as a teaching uh, method. I use it to show them that you know, no matter how far out there your dreams may be, they're always within reach. They're always attainable. Very cool. What grade is it? Fourth grade. Fourth science. Grade? Very cool. Science, yeah. So, I mean, like, it sounds kind of cliche or whatever, but does it help with discipline in the classroom? Like, they know, like, they should <laughs> probably listen to you? You would think so, but no, man. <laughs> These kids are fearless. Like, I don't give a damn with that you're a professional fighter. So, you know, it is what it is, but, um, you know, it, it definitely helps me with other aspects as far as teaching them and, 
and you know they they respect me you know especially during weight cut I'm like guys I'm very very fragile these days you know so so be nice to your teacher so, so when was the last time you taught a class uh, um Monday. Monday. Monday, actually, yeah. You know, I was like, guys, I'm heading out, so you better be good for the substitute. I'm going to come back, and you know what's up. So That's crazy. And then do you yeah. go right back on Monday, or do you take some time off? Uh, I, I go right back. I go right back. Um, you know, God willing, you know, I'm going to come out uh, without injuries or anything like that. So I should, be, I should be good and right back to it, right back to that, and right back to the, to the good food. <laughs> I Very look nice. forward to. Well, talk about this matchup. You get matched up mm -hmm. with a newcomer, um, which I guess is probably going to happen a lot in the flyweight division. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still new, but I mean, were you okay with that facing somebody that's coming in for the first time, or I don't want to say you feel disrespect, but did you mm -hmm. feel like you deserve somebody that has a UFC fight? No, you know, um, you know, Lauren had a fight on the Contender series. You know, she did pretty good. Um, you know, I saw that she's she's pretty well rounded. So, you know, I thought this was a great matchup. You know, I just I know that as far as my game, um, you know, I'm more technical uh, as far as striking, as far as, you know, I've, I've been putting in work, you know, a lot of people are going to see, you know, I've been putting in work all around, you know, and even even in areas that, that y'all think I'm lacking, you know, you're, you're going to see a difference. So, um, you know, I know, I know it's going to be a fun fight. I know it's going to be a great fight for the fans and an opportunity for me to showcase my growth. You're still so early in your career. I mean, you're going to have to develop your game in the UFC, right? I mean, yeah. do you relish that? Is it exciting? Is it a little bit intimidating to think, you know, I'm going to have to develop as a fighter on the highest stage? What does that feel like to you? Uh, you know, some days it's, it's still surreal. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm in the UFC. Uh, you know, and it's, it's still, it can be intimidating. I'm not going to lie. But I use that as fuel, you know. I, I'm here. Like, you know, I, I, I earned my spot here. I got this far, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not backing down anytime soon. I, it's we're going up, and that's the only direction that we're going. So uh, that, it, fortunately for me, you know, the the camp that I'm working in, the coaches that I work with, were all about evolution. You know, when I got with them, I told them I didn't tell them, you know, I have a fight coming up. I told them, you know, I want the I want the belt. So that's that's the fight that we've been training for. So you know, every every day that we're in there and we're grinding. We're looking at how are we making me better? Okay, your striking is good, but how can we make it better? Okay, your ground, but how can we make it better? So every, no stone is left unturned. So you make it to that championship level. Are you still a teacher too? Uh, maybe I'll teach like kickboxing or something, <laughs> little kids. I'm trying to train full time. That, that two jobs thing is, you know, but that's, that's the goal is to train full time. Um, and you know, when I if I get to that point, if I get that opportunity, I'd like to to teach kids, you know, something involving in martial arts. Uh, but no, I probably won't be. Sorry, y'all, I won't be teaching if very, I get that if I get that strap. <laughs> uh, very cool. I think it's understandable. Well, this will be a big step. Obviously, every win is gonna is gonna propel you in that direction. So when you kind of play this thing out, as you said, you watched your fight on the Contender Series. You mm -hmm. like the matchup. How do you see this thing playing out? Uh, you know, I don't like to make predictions because, you know, I know once we get in there, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to see everything that she's got. That's what I'm going to know what I need to bring to the table. But my plan is just to be me, you know, be patient, be elusive, use my speed, use my strengths, um, you know, maybe use some new stuff that I've been that I've been training and and, uh, you know, just. I'm, I know I'm going to get my hand raised at the end of the day, whether it's a, a three round, you know, fight the night war or, you know, I go in there, put her away, go get some food, you know, do that quickly. I know that I'm going to be victorious at the end.